is movement faster? That's always a tough question. Like walk speed doesn't really equate directly to movement, but I can tell you that normals are the way God intended now. They're not an abomination like Street Fighter V. <laughs> sort of. So the thing with Street Fighter V is not only, norm not only were normals not reaching that far, but they also, their hurt box retracted sooner. We're gonna look at normals and compare them. We'll look at crouching medium kick because this is like the staple Street Fighter. This is why it's called footsies, right? It's basically because of crouching medium kick that people call footsies footsies because of uh, this button. So this is Ken's crouching medium kick in Street Fighter V and we're gonna look at it in uh, Third Strike as well. Crouching forward. <laughs> so this red box on his feet represent the part that actually hit somebody. So frames, you can see right here frames. Before frame six, it's not there. Frame seven is when it's when it's just out there. So Street Fighter V. Oh look, it's faster. It's on frame six. Right? It's faster. But you gotta look at these. Uh, the distance is hard to get a perspective of, right? Because they're different games. But look how much further forward uh, Ken goes. He actually moves forward on frame one. His throw box, the green box, goes forward. The blue goes forward. I think he even moves more than that too. Yeah, he moves forward twice. And that's how much distance he gets off of this crouching medium kick. This is a fucking nub in comparison. He does move forward one time on frame four. And then frame six, you get this fucking nub. In Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, the extended hurt box, it comes before the hit box. The red goes past the blue. So that means if you hit at this part, you know, there's no there's nothing to punish. Uh, ahead of it, but in Street Fighter V, this green goes past it, so that's a little bit that's it's a little bit better for Street Fighter V. That during the move, while it's active, it's more hittable. But then we'll say frame 12 is when it first starts to retract. Frame 12, and remember, in Street Fighter V, Ken isn't moving forward as much, so he's not as far forward where you can punish him. So frame 12 is when it begins to retract. I actually don't know the result of this, so we'll see what happens. So in Third Strike, he's much further forward, and when it retracts... We're still at frame 13, 14, 15, 16. Frame 16 is when it begins to retract. In Street Fighter V, it retracts four frames earlier. So what is this? What the f*** am I talking about? It makes it easier to whiff punish in Third Strike because it's out there longer. It's in front of the character for a longer duration of time on top of Ken moving his whole body forward. So it's not just about the hurt box itself, but it's about where Ken is actually existing because his character begins way back here. In Street Fighter V, it goes back, it goes forward a little bit, but it goes backwards. Not, it doesn't have much more to go back from from where it started. So then another thing is the total animation. This is 21 frames total. In Third Strike, it is 6, 5, and 17. I don't think they share the same frame, so it's 11 and 17, which is 28, right? So total animation is 28 in Third Strike, and then in this, it's 21. So on top of the hurt boxes retracting sooner, the whole move is less time. So you have less time to react and less distance, uh, actually more distance to actually hit them. And on top of that, a lot of your normals don't reach that far. So this is what I mean with Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6, the normals are more like Third Strike, where they have more range and they have more recovery. But it's actually worse, because now they have the punish counter system. <laughs> they got the punish counter system. So if you do whip punish with all these values that you have, it gives you more advantage. You can get bigger combos from it. Cut. <laughs> That's a good video. I'm going to post that.